Travel Like Birds of a Feather presents Where to See Beautiful Spring Flowers From the chirping of the birds to the rays of sunshine on your face and the sweet smells of florals all around you. Why not stop to smell the roses? Since flowers are delicate, it is important to stay updated on how the weather affects the peak bloom, which affects the time you travel. Things can change instantly. Flexibility is key. Let us guide you. Like, subscribe, and click the bell. Up first, number one, Mount Yoshino in Japan is in the Ki Mountain Range and is a UNESCO site with over 30,000 cherry blossom trees in many different varieties. Best time to see them is early April, but check this website to see more accurate information. Luckily, you have a bit more time to see the blossoms due to them spreading slowly from the bottom to the top of the mountain, from the lowest Shimo Sinban, then to middle Nakashinban then upper Kami Shinban and top of the mountain Oku Shinban. Wonderful places to see the cherry blossoms are from Naka Simban Park and Hanayagura Viewpoint. In Aku Shinban, the trees bloom later in the season, which makes it a calmer setting to enjoy them. Some of the gardens with the cherry blossom trees will be lit up at night for a dreamy experience. Number two, Kukanoff Gardens is a lovely and very well-known spring park in Lees, Netherlands that has been operating for 74 years as of 2023. The millions of tulips amongst the backdrop of the famous old-fashioned windmills is so beautiful, it's a sensory overload. The colors of red, pink, blue, and many others are so vivid, they are unbelievable. The bulbs are turned into artistic patterns for you to wander and get lost in. Expert bulb growers took a historical castle and made it into a spring bulb park and it had instant success. Now 7 million spring flowering bulbs grow and are open for the public for 8 weeks this year from March 23rd until May 14th, 2023. Due to only so many weeks, it gets very crowded with visitors from all over the world, especially on the weekends. We suggest planning for 4 hours for ample time to enjoy, but realize that it will be crowded and have lines, so try to be patient. It's advised to go earlier or late afternoon. The peak bloom is usually in late April, but double check before. Tickets should be bought before, which is recommended. As of now, they are 19 euros, which is $20 online. You can also buy a combined ticket with transportation from Amsterdam, which by car is only a 35 minute drive. Links will be in the description for more information and tickets. Let us know in the comments if you are planning or have been to these gardens. Number three, Holland, Michigan. Located on the shore of Lake Makintawa, every May this town celebrates Holland's Dutch roots and heritage with a dazzling tulip time festival. Now they have over six million tulips of every color across a four mile radius of downtown. They planted 100,000 tulips back in 1929 and now it has evolved. There are pageants, parades, and even Dutch dancers. It's an eight-day festival with a set list of activities. Most viewing of flowers are free, like public parks and downtown streets, but a few activities you do need tickets. The area attractions will be linked below. Check out great tulip locations like Centennial Park, Window on the Waterfront Park, Windmill Island Gardens, and Nelly's Dutch Village. There are many places to stay including major hotel chains and even RV tent and camping. This is such a beautiful place in the U.S. and its location is also convenient. We have some new spring travel essentials. Dainty floral scarves, a very cute flower cell case, rain boots, easy to pack umbrellas, travel cameras, comfy travel clothes, and a few travel hacks. Links are in the description. Now on to number four, Giverny, France. Located in a quaint village in Normandy, France, this day trip from Paris is famous due to it being where French impressionist artist Claude Monet lived and took inspiration for his iconic water lily paintings, which hang in the Orangier Museum in Paris. Monet bought the home in 1883. He lived 
lived and painted there until his death in 1926. Only a 45-minute train ride from TER Paris Saint Lazare to the Vernon Giverny station, which is located on the train line from Paris to Rouen and Le Havre. Tickets can be bought online or in person and are 9 to 16 euros. Once you get to Vernon town, you can get on the tourist train for 10 euros round trip, or you can Uber or shuttle bus. Buy your Monet Garden tickets at this website for 11 euros and 50 cents. Check out the guided tours for more detail of history. Springtime brings lilac and pink peonies. Summer brings bright and vivid geraniums and roses. Autumn is covered in red leaves and rich colors. Let us know in the comments which season you would like to visit. If you don't feel comfortable planning everything out on your own, you can book a tour that does everything for you. They normally begin in Paris and can include many activities or just to see the gardens. Number five, Washington, D.C. The capital's cherry blossom season may be short, two weeks, but if you time it right and have flexibility, it will be sweet. You'll be able to witness the magical pink hues for miles. The best part of being there are the floral smells wafting through the air around you. So lovely. The National Park Service in early March puts out a prediction of when the peak bloom will be for around 70% of the trees. Due to weather, things can change instantly. So make sure to track the prediction in the description. A great tip is to make sure your accommodation is flexible and can be changed. If you can wait until the early March prediction to confirm your rooms, that would be the best. Japan gifted the U.S. 2,000 cherry blossom trees in 1910, but they had to be burned due to being diseased and infested. Two years later, the Tidal Basin would get the first two trees planted from the new gift of 3,000. It took around eight years to plant all of the trees from the tidal basin along the Potomac River. The best time to see the cherry blossoms for fewer crowds is early mornings and weekdays. There are lots of events that you can attend as well. Last few tips are to get around DC. You can use the Metro Rail, which you can either download the app for a card or order online a card to be mailed to you before you travel. Also, National Mall service of the DC Circulator, which is $1, or you can drive. We don't recommend driving due to the traffic jams. Also, the roads are closed sporadically and parking is difficult and most parking spots are limited for only a few hours. Best places to see the blossoms are previously mentioned, the Tidal Basin, also Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, the Steps of the Jefferson Memorial, U.S. National Arboretum, and Haynes Point Loop Trail. Explore these places by walking, biking, kayaking, and even paddle boat which you should book a reservation in advance at this website. And finally, number six, Hollerboss Forest, also known as the Blue Forest, is located in Halle, Belgium. The flowers, which are bluebells and hyacinths, are actually purpley color, and best time to see them are in mid-April to May, and they only last about two weeks. When you are there, you feel like you are in a painting. It looks like there are carpets of brilliant blues and purples all around you. The weather really impacts the timing of the blooms, so read before you go. It's a free to the public park, so no entrance fees. Best time to visit is on a weekday or in the morning or late afternoon. It's important to note, if you are a commercial photographer or videographer, you will be required to get a permit for the forest. Make sure to wear hiking boots or at least shoes that can get muddy. After rain, it gets very muddy. The best place to see the blanket of colors is suggested at Reebok Wandling, which is a 4.5 mile yellow walkway with stunning views. Also, there are no restrooms on the property and there are only a few restaurants in the vicinity. The forest is only around 12 miles from Brussels, so you can take a train from Brussels to Halle and then the forest is around 15 to 20 minutes by bus. You can also drive by car, but due to crowds, the roads are sometimes closed and parking is very difficult when there are many people. So plan ahead. A great way to save money when you buy travel on websites like TripAdvisor, etc 
Expedia and Travelocity, along with over 3,000 retail shopping stores, is to join Rakuten as a member for free. It is simple. When you make a purchase, you get cash back. In the description is a link to sign up. You will love getting money back. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our videos on where to travel in spring. Like, subscribe, and click the bell.